This plane takeoff went seriously wrong. The incident took place at Juan Santa Maria Airport in Costa Rica. DHL pilots were readying their Boeing 757 for takeoff, which is when they realized something was terribly wrong. There was a problem with the plane's hydraulic system, leaving the pilot with no choice but to slam on the brakes. The plane skids on the runway, turning a full 180 degrees. The 757 even slides off the runway. Thankfully, no one was injured, although the plane did require extensive repairs. But an even crazier plane takeoff fail took place in India. It took place during an Indian Air Force training exercise at Ambala Air Base. The pilot took off in a Jaguar fighter jet. The plane was carrying two extra fuel tanks and some practice bombs. The Jaguar took off at high speeds, but within seconds, collides with a flock of birds, knocking out one of the plane's two engines, leaving the pilot with no choice but to make an emergency landing. He dumps the fuel tanks and practice bombs, which explode below, with one of these tanks hitting a residential area. But miraculously, no one was hurt. Thanks to the decreased weight, the pilot was able to make a safe landing with only one engine. It wasn't the training he was expecting, but this pilot definitely earned his stripes. But an even crazier failed takeoff comes from the US Air Force. On August 5th, 2017, the USS Green Bay was stationed off the coast of Australia. A V-22 Osprey is preparing to take off from the ship. That's when, with no warning, everything goes wrong. The Osprey collides with the USS Green Bay before the video cuts out. The Osprey was later recovered from the scene. Another wild takeoff took place at Mumbai International Airport. It's October 2022, and this Singapore Airlines Boeing 747 is about to take off. That's when the plane encounters a bird. You can see it enter the plane's leftmost engine, causing a small explosion. But thankfully, Boeing 747s can still fly with as few as one working engine, meaning that the flight did continue. But an even crazier takeoff took place in Puerto Carreño, Colombia. An Aero Sucre cargo plane was preparing for takeoff. The Boeing 727 was loaded with 20,000 pounds of cargo, which turned out to be a load too heavy for this plane. During takeoff, the plane overran the runway. tearing through the airport's fence, and narrowly misses a group of plane spotters on the ground. The pilot tried to regain control, but its collision with the fence had already badly damaged the plane, breaking one of its engines, all of its hydraulic systems, as well as part of the landing gear. The plane glided over the ground for two minutes, clipping a tree and a building. An investigation was quickly launched, and what it found was damning. Firstly, the airport was too small for a Boeing 727. The pilots also made various preventable takeoff errors, but the worst failure was the fault of Aero Sucre. They had modified the plane to take off at slower speeds, making it more fuel efficient and saving money. However, they never updated the flight manual, so when the pilots took off, they set their speed to 5 knots faster than necessary. This along with the plane's weight caused this takeoff failure. But an even wilder takeoff failure is this. One day, a US Air Force pilot was flying a Grumman A6 intruder, but as he took off from the ship, something went wrong with the plane's engine. Control kept telling the plane to climb, but when this didn't work, the pilot was ordered to eject. So he dumped his payload into the sea, before him and his co-pilot ejected, landing safely in the ocean. However, the g-force from the ejection caused severe spinal compression, meaning the pilot was an inch shorter when he was pulled from the water. Another wild takeoff fail took place at St. Kitts Airport in the Caribbean. A National Airways A330 jet was about to take off, but as it was taxiing down the runway, this happens. The plane's wing crashes into a pole, nearly bringing the whole thing down. The plane is quickly stopped by ground marshals, and all of the passengers had to get off, while the plane and the pole were repaired. But a way more crazy and expensive fail comes from the British Air Force. It took place in 2021 aboard the HMS Queen Elizabeth. It was stationed in the Mediterranean Sea. A pilot was preparing to take off. His plane was a $115 million F-35 fighter jet. The pilot went 
up the ramp, but instead of flying off, the plane goes down into the sea. Thankfully, the pilot ejected just in time, but the $115 million plane had to be totally written off. That is one expensive mistake. Another very expensive fail took place in 2011. This Boeing 777 was going down the runway, about to take off, but that's when it begins to skid out of control. It's as if the pilots are drifting but in a Boeing 777. To prevent disaster, the pilots activate the emergency brake, leading to one of the tires exploding, causing a fire. But thankfully, everyone was okay, and the pilot's emergency brake saved this plane. But an even bigger takeoff failure took place on New Year's Eve of 2011. A Southwest Airlines flight prepared for takeoff, but as the plane took off, a pair of birds flew by, with one of the birds being sucked into the plane's engine. This wiped out the plane's right engine, but the pilot knew it was too late to abort takeoff, meaning the pilot had to turn the plane back around and land. But an even scarier takeoff fail is this. On June 7th, 2006, a Tradewinds Boeing 747 cargo plane was preparing to take off, set to fly from Medellin, Colombia to Miami, Florida. During takeoff, conditions were wet and rainy. As the plane began to move, pilots noticed the engine gas temperature warning light turn on, and to make matters even worse, the engine soon encountered even more technical issues. The pilot realized the plane was not safe to fly, so made the last second decision to slam on the brakes. But by that point, the massive cargo plane was already going down the runway at high speed, leading to the plane skidding off the runway and crashing into the grass. The Boeing was damaged beyond repair, but amazingly, all five crew members were evacuated and suffered no injuries. The pilot knew that the plane did not have enough runway to stop, but if he didn't make this very tough decision, the plane likely would have crashed after takeoff. An even more dramatic plane failure took place on January 15th, 2009. A US Airways flight took off from LaGuardia Airport in New York. On board were two pilots, three flight attendants, and 150 passengers. The plane was due to fly to Charlotte, North Carolina, but the plane would never leave this radius. Shortly after taking off, the plane struck a flock of Canadian geese. The plane was already 2,800 feet in the air, but the windscreen was now covered with parts of the bird and passengers saw flames out of their windows. Both of the two engines stalled and the plane began plummeting to the ground. The pilot, Chesley Sully Sullenberger, immediately radioed air traffic control. They told him to try and land in New Jersey, but Sully knew that the plane would not make it. So, pilot Sully had a crazy idea. He decided the safest course of action would be to land the plane in the Hudson River. And, miraculously, it worked. Air traffic control expected the plane to break up on impact, but thanks to Sully's expert flying, this didn't happen. Within minutes, two ferries arrived, evacuating all 155 people on board, with zero fatalities or injuries. For his bravery, Captain Sully was given the highest honor any pilot can get, the Master's Medal for Outstanding Aviation Achievement. Later on, they even made a movie about this named Sully, with Tom Hanks playing the role of Captain Sully. Comment below which of these plane takeoff failures shocked you the most. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Yet. And be sure to check out this video next. I think you'll find it even crazier than this one.